A former Marine fighting to survive a terrible disease is now also fighting for his grandson's survival, and he does it with art. Fox 25's Phil Cross introduces us to an artist with an amazing story that's spilling out on canvas and inspiring others. Phil. He volunteered to fight for the freedom of others, but now a disease has taken much of his own freedom. Though it has not taken his spirit of survival and not stopped Mike Simmons from finding a way to fight back. Each brush stroke. This one right here. Just part of a much larger picture. This is a seascape and uh, the waves are crashing against the rocks. For Mike Simmons. The great thing about this chair is I can at least pedestal it up. The larger picture includes much more than a wheelchair. Last year in October, I just finally decided that if I was going to do it, I'd better get to it because I was down to one arm and my uh, thumb and index finger here. Multiple sclerosis claimed much of this former Marine's mobility, but it could not take his passion. Some days painting is a very, very big challenge because some days with my uh, disease, I have real bad shakes. What started as a return to his passion for painting would soon become something much more. It has a calming effect on me, but ultimately I know I'm also doing this for my uh, grandson. Anderson Smith was born without a fully developed heart. He's already had one open heart surgery and needs another. I kept trying to figure out what could I do to help out. That's when Mike realized his palate, his passion, his art could help Anderson. Giving back to his grandson is the most important thing to him, leaving a little bit of a legacy for him, and I think that's very important. It's art for Anderson at Dreamer Concepts in Norman. We're here to just encourage, promote, and provide opportunities for artists in our community, and Mike totally fits into that mission. Each picture tells a story, some of suffering, some of survival. I like doing conventional paintings, but I really like doing abstracts because it gives me a lot of freedom. Freedom to live life not defined by a disease, but defined by a desire to use his gifts to give back. That's where I'm at right now. I'm doing it for Anderson, trying to help my grandson out. Mike says he is only able to paint thanks to the help and support of the activity and arts staff at the Norman Veterans Center. Center. Now, an interesting side note to this story, the gallery that's showing Mike's work is, was actually all booked up. But when the director heard about Mike's story, they did make room and found a time for his showing, which just happened to be open today on Veterans Day. Beautiful Jamie? artwork as well. Very nice work. Uh, Dreamer Concepts is hosting an art opening for Mike tonight in downtown Norman. His work will be on display through December 2nd. Great stuff. To learn more, go to our website, okcfox.com links.